This podcast has always been about transparency, being real, facing reality in a way that says, we got this, running into the fire and not away from the fire. And then things begin to happen. And you go, well, am I going to run away and hide? Am I going to not talk about this? And you have to. Because there are two things that we are guaranteed in life, birth and death. And very few people talk about the latter and how they deal with it personally. My, my studio, believe it or not, to my left-hand side, nearest my heart, if, if you really look at it and you break it down, you're going to go, my God, he is surrounded by death. The ashes of my brother Teddy and my mother, Dr. Ronald Mack, all eight of my rescued dogs, their ashes are in here as well. You would think, oh my God, what a negative son of a bitch. But it's not because I believe in continuation. I'm not even 24 hours into this journey and I've lost my sister. We have talked about my sister so many times on this podcast, The Daily Mess, because living with her has always been a daily mess. And to hear that she has passed and God has welcomed her into his kingdom of love and peace, that was exactly what I thought when I heard the word. Finally, she found peace. I couldn't believe at 2.25 this morning that I was commanded to go to the pages, the daily writing, 2.25 a.m. If you could just see my handwriting. That writer who put so much attention into how words are shaped and formed. And I remember one thing I couldn't see. It didn't matter how many reading glasses I put on my eyes. I couldn't see. But yet... I kept hearing in my heart, then just write. Write, we'll figure it out later. The words that came out, and I'm not the only one who has said this, and I hope to God and I pray to God that this is going to help somebody in their time of not a disconnection, but rather their continuation. This is the daily mess. I really don't know what to say, Susan. I'm at a loss of words. I didn't think we would ever end up here. Our last talk was a place that injured both of us deeply. You didn't care. I did. I was huge on your side, badly beaten up by your lack of concern. I will never know why you did this. Wait, you're still that girl that can do no wrong. You hurt so many people in so many ways. We always felt you had a goal to do something, but we couldn't figure out what the end result was. I didn't mean to hurt you in 1985 when I left Billings to go to Carolina. I was chasing a childhood dream. Besides, where were you in my life at that time? The abortions that I had to go through with my first wife. And you say I hurt you? Really? You come to these pages, and I cannot be in anger. But I will tell you that your voice will not be silent on these pages. That's how much I love you. For I am deeply hurt by your loss. Yet I gain knowing that you're going to be here in my heart. I know you're here. I feel you. You woke me up from my sleep. I hear you. More than you ever, ever, ever knew. Because we've always been connected. But you cannot and will not control me on these pages. You are with mom and dad and Teddy. And it's a place of spiritual truth and forgiveness. Not everyone knows of your true value and your true voice. I do. Because I love you. It's 2.45 a.m., And you called me out to these pages. And I answered. The same guy that you really, really didn't do well with in our final months together. Our egos got in the way. 
We knew that we were both losing, but we didn't want to face our own defeats. But you're with mom and dad and Teddy now. You have transitioned. I just hope God helps you find the peace. <sighs> Too much? Was it enough? I'm not surrounded by death. I'm surrounded by continuation. And I know for a fact that my sister will make her voice present on future episodes. I know it. But the pages that you didn't get to hear were that of a bigger brother who said, but you will not bring your anger and your destruction to these pages. We are here to teach. And if we can't teach, then we don't speak. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.